there are still many options for alternative fuels for fleets. Although natural gas is an abundant, cheap, and popular fuel, there is still no silver bullet to solving this issue. Yeah, we believe that very much in an uh, energy diversity policy, that there's not one silver bullet when it comes to fuel solutions for fleets. And in, in our case, if, if it's flex fuel, for example, or E85, we have seven of the 11 million vehicles that are running in the U.S. on E85 or General Motors products. We have 21 vehicles right now in our lineup that you can buy that have E85 capability. So we see that as a really, really great solution to reduce our dependence on, on foreign oil and, and improve fuel economy. In addition to that, we see CNG um, getting bigger and bigger and bigger all the time. Uh, there's a, a great surplus of it. Uh, the price versus gasoline is, is very, very favorable right now. So fleets, when they're looking at total cost of ownership, that's so important to them. And so we see a lot, a, a big push in our company on, on CNG, and we think um, that's going to be uh, uh, really, really important. Also, when you take a look at just back to 2009, we had 16% of our vehicles with regular conventional gas, gas-powered engines that, that, uh, that got 30 miles per gallon or better. You know, that number last year for 2012 was 40%. So we're making great strides in a lot of different areas. And I think we probably have the widest array or, or widest choice of, of, of various uh, fuel-saving technologies of any OEM out there, and we like that position.